Greetings everyone, this is Lionel Walt, and in this video I'll be doing a discussion on Griffin specifically. Um, most of you will know this, but for those who don't know, uh, Griffin got nerfed, or you could say changed in a way. Um, for Honor had released this information around Tuesday this week, Monday sometime, and um, they said that today, this Thursday, on 29th of April, they will be nerfing Griffin. And... Uh, I'm going to be talking about the changes and how I feel overall in this, um, but to give a summary, I'm a bit 50-50 with this. Um, it's kind of weird, honestly. I think in some areas it was over nerfed, but in some they, they actually did some pretty good changes. So we'll talk more about that in this video. Uh, currently I just have some old Griffin gameplay, but there will be more um, edited versions in this clip as I will be showing you a before and after, what his kit was like before, and then showing you what it is now. So you guys can get a better idea. But um, I just want to say this before I go along. Um, I'm a Rep 57 Griffin currently. A Rep 58 Griffin currently. Um, so yes, you could say I'm in the guy. And if you're the type of person who says, oh, you know, you're just upset that you haven't got an easy mode anymore, then I would just, I don't know, recommend you to just leave the video. If you want to leave a dislike, it's your choice. I don't care. Because I'm not going to have them type of people um, on this channel, you know. Oh my god, you know, you, you haven't got an easy mood anymore, so you're just complaining, you know. Griffin deserves to be nerfed, this, that, and the other. You know, I care about viability of heroes. I want heroes to be strong in this game. I want them to be viable. And I'm not saying these nerfs didn't make Griffin viable, but I'm just saying that some of these weren't exactly necessary, some of the nerfs. But uh, we'll talk more about that in the video. So, um, yeah, let's go straight into it. Okay, first thing that was adjusted or nerfed was his dodge attack damage. It went from 16, as you can see in this clip here, um, and it went down to 14, so they removed 2 damage. So, um, essentially, this may not seem big to many people, but as a duelist, I can say this definitely does and will hurt Griffin a slight bit. Because if you think about it, if you're landing around 3 dodge attacks a uh, around this is 6 damage that you've just lost on and 6 damage is a big number in jewels it can really dictate a fight but I mean it's 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 a good change I don't mind this change I think it was fair I mean if it's a heavy enhanced you know it goes straight into your kick finisher mix up which is really strong and um, obviously if they parry it then they only get around average of 13 damage guaranteed so I think it's a pretty fair trade off the 2 damage was not bad it was a good enough good enough and the next nerf was um, the delay. So basically, as you can see in these clips, I'm kind of showing you like three clips of each bit to kind of like give you guys an idea. Before you were able to delay it, so like as you can see here, I was able to delay it massively, like 500 milliseconds into my dodge, I was then able to do my dodge attack. What this did was allowed me to avoid so many mix-ups. I could avoid Centurion's third stage bash, Warmonger's third stage bash. I was even able to avoid um Goki's unblockable into Hog mix-up entirely. But so what they did was they kind of just toned this down and made it so it's a 300 millisecond into the dodge. So now it's pretty much um, straight away. As you can see here, I tried to delay it and it doesn't work. But as you can see in the clips, in uh, as you go down, as you watch, continue watching the video, you realize that the dodge attack seems much faster. It but it really isn't. It's just that I don't, I can't delay it anymore. Now what this means is that now other heroes will be able to land their mix-ups more. Warmonger will now be able to land her third stage bash. Centurion will land his third stage bash and Goki's and Block will mix up into Hog uh, will not just be entirely countered by one dodge attack now. So I think this was a good tr uh, a good change. Uh, this was a very nice target to change honestly. It does help uh, a lot for other heroes. Personally I thought they were just going to increase the GB vulnerability on it. But um, I guess this is a fair trade. I, I, don't, I really don't mind this nerf honestly. I think this was a good nerf and a good target to nerf. Um, this will definitely help um, uh, other heroes to fight Griffin. It doesn't really impact his dodge type much though, like it's still good in 4v4, still good in team fights, and it'll still be strong in 1v1s. But now Griffin's out there won't just be able to minusly dodge attack everything and you know avoid everything. And now heroes won't always just have to be fainting and fainting and fainting, they can continue their mix up. So overall this is a pretty decent nerf to Griffin's dodge attack. Honestly I thought they would just have increased the GB vulnerability on it or something. But I can definitely accept this from you, Soft. This will definitely um, help other heroes fight Griffin more, like uh, Goki, Warmonger, Centurion, and stuff. They'll be able to use their mix ups instead of having to worry about the delayed, high eye framed dodge attack. But 
don't get me wrong, the dodge tag will still be strong, it'll still be good in 1v1s and 4v4s, so I think this was a pretty well targeted nerf. Alright, next is the kick damage. So the heavy guaranteed after the kick used to 28. They've dropped this down to 24. I do not agree with this nerf. I think this was far too much. Honestly, I did not have a problem with the kick. 28 damage seemed pretty fine. I mean, it was strong, but it was okay. It's simply just a worse version of BP's mix-up. And I think what Florida just did was they went on Reddit, saw the people complain, and were like, okay, let's just nerf it just for them. Honestly, this this shouldn't have been nerfed as much. I mean, yeah, okay, 28 damage is pretty high, but you have to understand that this is a GB vulnerable attack. Now that it does 24 damage, there is literally no point me using the kick. Because if they dodge, I'm going to get punished for 24 or more damage. There's heroes out there that have very good pressure with GB. Warlord, Raider, Centurion, who drains half your stamina. Peacekeeper who gets 38 damage. I mean, yeah, you could say Peacekeeper gets 38 damage even if you did your 28 damage kick. But at least the trade-off wouldn't be as bad. 24 and then a trade-off of 38 is massive. That is a 14 damage difference. So, honestly, I do not agree with this nerf. I mean, 26 would have been much more reasonable, in my opinion. I think that would have been a perfect balance between uh, 24 and 28. So, 26 would have been much more reasonable, in my opinion. But, I mean, I guess Reddit got what they wanted, so... Um, but, yeah, GB vulnerable on a 24 damage kick. Um, there's no point me using the kick as much anymore. His finisher uh, mix-up, I mean, it's still going to be pretty good. But it's not going to be as strong, uh, and to be fair, I do feel like his finisher mix-up should be quite strong. 28 damage was fine in my opinion, but 26 definitely sounds more reasonable and much more fair. But now I guess if I throw a kick for 24 damage, I'll be punished for 25 plus, even if 27 for some heroes, if they get me to a wall or whatnot. But um, yeah, um, I guess this is just how it is, but I do not agree with this nerf at all. Alright, next, Shove. Griffin's Shove got some drastic changes. You know, I'll probably almost call it an entire rework, to be fair. But, uh, let's look into it. So, as you can see in the screen before, it used to be a neutral Shove. You go back in GB input. It was a 600 millisecond bash. And they've changed it to a forward dodge Shove, which is a 500 millisecond bash now. It has 300 milliseconds into the dodge, and then a 500 millisecond bash. Similar to Centurion's kick. Um, this also does lead into your kick mix up and honestly, I, I don't mind this. I think this is a solid change But guys seriously the neutral bash was 600 milliseconds. It was reactable Even even me who's on ps4 with 30 fps could react to that thing fairly well So this does increase Griffin's offensive pressure and he could have like a mini mind game here where he could like forward dodge and then fake the bash kind of thing like bait the dodge and then go for the guard break attempt and you get your free heavy off so I guess he does have his better offensive pressure there but personally I don't think the shove needed changing so next nerf was that Griffin can no longer chain after a whiff the bash as you know before his nerf if you whiff the shove you could uh, continue your chain this is no longer the case they removed it entirely I don't know why they would want to remove this I think this was a, a decent thing for Griffin I think they should have kept it in it would have helped him in his offensive pressure in 1v1s and would have helped him in 4v4s too. Um, I think it's because people are complaining that the po the shove was unpunishable. Thing is, the shove was punishable actually. You could dodge bash it, dodge attack it, you can even dodge and wait for the parry or something. But uh, I guess this is just something they thought needed to change. I personally would have just felt like it would have been better for Griffin if he had they just left it in. And allowed him to chain even after a whiff shove. Even if it was just a light. Just to let him light attack after a whiff shove. Just to let him get into his kit mix up that little bit better. In both uh, 44 and 1v1s. But uh, honestly I think this was too much of a nerf for Griffin. And I don't think this was needed. Alright and the next few changes on Griffin's shove. Was that they um, increased the amount of stamina you consume when doing a shove. So now you lose 15 stamina instead of the previous 12. Uh, I can understand this, I mean it costs more stamina to do a shove now, especially considering it's faster and it's for forward dodge. I, get, I can get behind this, it doesn't really bother me much. It's a, it's a decent nerf. But the most important thing and the best nerf is that they removed the stamina pause of Griffin's shove. So now uh, you no longer 
have to wait for your stamina to regenerate after getting hit by Griffin's shove. It's gone now. It will just regenerate instantly. I am so happy they've done this. And now can we do this with Conqueror and BP and other Bash heroes? Stamina pause is a dumb mechanic. Next thing is that I tested Griffin's shove recovery. Um, Orochi's dodge attack is 600 milliseconds, I believe. And it seems to hit my shove uh, every single time. I've even tried to switch guards and block it. And even parry it in some cases, but... It didn't work, I got hit every time. So, Griffin's uh, dodge attack as well is 600 milliseconds, meaning that it will also punish the shove. So, I'm guessing dodge attacks will and dodge bashes will definitely p uh, punish this shove. And I also tested to see if it was GB vulnerable, and from my surprise, it's not. It's not a GB vulnerable bash. This means it's most likely a 600 to 700 millisecond recovery time, similar to BP's. So you have to you now have to dodge early uh, in order to get your free GB like Black Prize Bash. You have to dodge a little bit earlier than normal to get a GB. This is actually a very solid change. I'm I'm happy with this honestly, and I'm glad they've done this. I think this is probably compensation for him not allowing him to chain after a whiffed shove. So this was good. I did this against Warlord as well just in case, and he couldn't GB me at all. I was able to counter guard break every single time. So this is a def definitely a good change and I'm glad they did this. So overall, when looking at these uh, Griffin nerfs, again I will say they're pretty 50-50. They're not bad honestly, they, it's definitely some decent nerfs and some of them were pretty well targeted, especially the dodge attack one. But um, again, I think the kick damage should have been 26 to the 24, I think 24 is too low. Griffin, um, honestly now I don't know if he should be able to chain after a whiff the bash. I mean the recovery seems good enough. He doesn't get GB'd. Again, people like Freeze and stuff will definitely be able to tell you better information on that because they actually like fully time it in that. Um, I don't think I can do that on PS4 so <laughs> I'm pretty limited with my editing. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, let me know what you think of these um, nerfs and Griffin. If you agree with me, do you disagree with me? And um, yeah, let's just see how Griffin does now. Let's see how he does in Dominion series. I don't think he'll be a must pick anymore. I think he'll be like, you just be like, there. You know, pick him if you need him, but he's not going to be a must pick. I do not think he will be. Because his feats did get nerfed as well. You know, his healing went down from like 20 to 15. The area of effect on the healing went from 11 meters down to 8. Now, I didn't include this in this big uh, balance video, you could say. Because uh, I'm a duelist, so I care more about the actual hero's kit instead of his feats and stuff, but... We'll talk about the feats anyway. Honestly, I think there were some good changes. His tier 3 was busted. And I'm glad they uh, nerfed that, honestly. So that was good. The tier 2, I think, needed a bit of a nerf. And I think they did, did some good changes on it. Because that was pretty strong too. So overall, the feats nerf was pretty solid. And uh, But I don't think his 4-4 will be a must-pick anymore. I do not think we'll see him as much in Dominion series. And I'm pretty sad about that, honestly. I wanted to see Griffin in Dominion series. I was pretty excited to see him in Dominion series. But let's just see what happens. Let's see what the competitive teams do. And see what they pick. But um, yeah, guys. Let me know what you think of the Griffin changes. If you agree with me or disagree with me, let me know in the comments. And today, later on, we'll be posting some Griffin jewels. The, well, the new Griffin. Uh, showing his new kit and his nerfs and whatnot. So be ready for that. And I'll see you all in the next video.